Maker's breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Indeed. We have been praying for your safe return, Warden. I can believe it. Though I'm afraid if we do not act quickly to erode Loghain's support, we may all be seeing a great deal of Fort Draken in the future. Very little. We will need to work together, and quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat, yet even now I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. You will need ammunition come the lands meet. And I can help you in that regard. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there. But I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Hal's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the lands meet. But you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough. And decent. But even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Kaelin, I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denerim. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she batted her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. Honora was a capable administrator for Caelan's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly solve a lot of problems, and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet, to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne, and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen, unless they both agreed to it. And I've seen the way Alistair looks at you. Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Orlesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, 
we could scatter back to warring Turnians. No, I don't, which I've told both of you on many occasions. If Honora's turned against Loghain, I say let her keep the crown. It looks better on her anyway. You're both wrong. With a few months of experience, Alistair will make a fine king. He knows how to lead troops to defend his land. He knows how to stand and fight for justice. He knows how to show compassion to those less fortunate, and how to trust to the Maker's guidance to know right from wrong. And he knows who to turn to for aid, should that training fail him. He will be fine. We certainly have a great deal to plan. Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Alora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy, and the sooner we know which she is, the better. Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. Do you disagree? You are a fellow Grey Warden. What do you think of Alistair's potential to rule? Never mind his willingness. Alistair seems like a kind, well-meaning man, and biddable enough. These are admirable qualities if not kingly ones. He also seems to be a fine Grey Warden, which is exactly why he should remain one and serve the kingdom by defeating the Darkspawn. Oh, there are some who would follow Alistair out of respect for his Therian blood. The others would see this as Eamon grabbing for power. Who else do you think Alistair would turn to for help? Eventually, the nobility would return to the old days of constant warring with each other. Alistair's weakness would destroy everything Merrick built. I simply believe that I am what this country needs. I will fight for what I believe. Would Alistair do the same? Thus I say again, I would welcome your support for the throne if you would give it. For years I have ruled this kingdom as Caelan's queen. As much as they loved Caelan, all of the Bannon knew this to be so. Caelan was a good man, but what is needed now is not another good man, but a good ruler. I sent Alina here not solely because I thought I needed help, but because I saw an opportunity for us both. I need your support, Warden, and you will need mine. That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. Ignoring that the man looks so much like Caelan, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall. My main fear is that he might govern like Caelan as well. And are you so truly eager to pawn the lad off on me anyway? I rather got the sense that you two might be. I see. So be it then. Alistair does have Theron blood. It is the one thing I do not have, truth be told. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? Consider it forgotten. Now, as for the alliance we were discussing. Once I am queen, I will be in a position to grant you whatever you wish. And I shall. Alistair might promise you the same, I suppose. But I would ask which is better. The gratitude of a weak king, or of a strong queen. And even if it is not for you, think of what I could do for the Grey Wardens. 
think of what I could do for your people. I trust I have made my point. That is good to hear. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? Ask me whatever you like. Of course it does. Do you think me heartless? But how much worse would I be to calmly stay at the side of a man who murdered my husband? He was, and far happier in the field than in the throne room. He was reckless, impetuous, and charming. Had he not been king, he would have made a dashing rogue for a band of players. We were a good pairing. He would not have wanted the burden of ruling any more than I would have liked to remain the silent wife in my husband's shadow. They would not believe it, most of them, even from my lips. Loghain is a hero they've looked up to their whole lives. Far easier to believe you or me a liar than him a murderer and tyrant. That's why it will be critical to find some way to discredit him before the lands meet. We must have proof of my father's crimes for the bands, or they will never believe us. Caelan was so idealistic. The world was his storybook, and he was the hero. And my father is different. He's an idealist too, but he knows what idealism costs. They often clashed, but never seriously, never for long. Caelan would always come round to father's way of thinking eventually. And then the Blight came. Caelan dreamed of uniting all the nations of Thedas against the Darkspawn. It was a dream he wouldn't surrender. What my father saw, however, was the boy he had swaddled inviting Orlesian troops back into the land he had fought to free of them. And for once, my poor, foolish husband wouldn't back down. It was more than just my own loss. But I thank you all the same. Then I wish you luck, Warden. Someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. I'm not a political man. I like being a warden. There's real evil out there, and it's something we can fight. It's something we can defeat. Making laws? Settling disputes? That's not me. I wouldn't have the first idea how to do it. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just let it happen? Hmm. I suppose I could always flip a coin. Got one handy. It's just that everything I've heard about Queen and Nora is that she's the one who really ruled here, not Caelan. She's smart, tough, determined. Well, I feel a bit like Kaelin's substitute. I think I'll be better off against the Darkspawn. All right, Alistair, enough whining. Thank you, Alistair. That's excellent advice. I'll do my best. About the whining? I know, I know. Someone really needs to slap that one around. 